tyres. They're one of the most overlooked parts on your car, but they're also one of the most important. It may sound trivial to say it, but tyres are a big deal, and we Brits are terrible at looking after our tyres. It's estimated there are 10 million illegal tyres on UK roads. That's one in four cars. That leads to a thousand motorists being killed or seriously injured a year on Britain's roads, and it's mostly due to people not checking their tyres regularly enough. One in five drivers have never checked their tyres tread depth, 42% don't even know how. To see just how dangerous it is to be driving on unsuitable tyres, we've got three identical Peugeot 308 SWs. One with brand new rubber, the second with tyres down to the legal limit, and the other with new budget tyres. And we've also got Sally Whittle. She's a mummy blogger and, she says herself, is a typical motorist who doesn't give tyres the attention they deserve. We're going to put her through a tough test. She will drive along this stretch of road, and when she runs over the yellow plate, the car will spin. Let's see which tyres are the safest. First up is the budget tyres. Right and gas, right and gas. Right. Hmm, pretty shocking stuff. Next, it's the part-worn tyres. Oh dear, I would not want to be in that car. <laughs> That's where you've been coming from. <laughs> and now it's the brand new tyres. While all cars spun, it's clear Sally experienced a far more controlled spin with the new tyres. So that's one point to the new rubber. Let's see what she thought. So Sally, how was that? It was really scary actually how fast it is mm. and even if you think that you know what you're doing by the time actually your car is in the skid and you've thought of what to do you're already going backwards on the wrong side of the road <laughs> and potentially about to die so really really interesting to see how quick it all goes. Could you tell the differences between the tyres? Yeah definitely I think particularly between the worn tyres and the new tyres so with the worn tyres the skid is so much bigger and so much faster whereas with the newer tires you're much more controlled so you're able to regain control of the car a lot quicker yeah i found so you'd rather have a set of new tires than worn tires in your car definitely 100 percent. next it's a braking test this is a soaking stretch of road much like the type you'd find in any british summer the test drive at 30 miles an hour and slam on the brakes Perhaps predictably, the new tyres allow the car to pull up the quickest. But what's interesting to see is how much of a difference new rubber actually is. But what does an expert actually think? I think people neglect checking their tyres now because we have sensors on our cars uh, that tell us when our pressures are need doing. Also, I don't think we interact with our cars as much as we used to. So now we take it to a car wash. We don't physically get down and check our tyres. I think it's half the reason that we neglect our tyres. So once a week, I'd suggest pin your, your wheel onto a full lock so you can see the full, full width of the tyre um, and taking a 20 pence piece, as simple as that. And if you place a 20 pence piece into the tyre and you cannot see the bottom part of the coin, then you know your tyre is legal. So there we have it. The next time you think it's not worth taking two minutes to check your tyres, think again.